Hey guys, Johnny here with Acorn Climbing. Uh, I got a couple requests to make a video on how to set up our weight reduction system. So I'm gonna do that now for you guys, show you how it's done, and we'll get to it. All right, so your first step will be to get one of our eye hooks, and it com comes with two of them, um, and you want to get them drilled on the hangboard. And the ones we're making now have six holes, one here, one right there, 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 and there. I like to have them on the two end, it really spreads the rope apart. So you're just pretty much gonna line it up right with that hole and start screwing. And it'll get kind of hard to do by hand in a second. So one thing you can do if you have a screwdriver, you can also use a carabiner and just start twisting it just like this. Screw it all the way in. So the very first thing you want to do is get on a harness. Uh, you want to have a harness for this. You'll tie yourself in with a figure eight follow through knot. Uh, I had a Yosemite finish on it, so the tail was away from this side of the rope. And then you'll have a bowline over here that's tied to the weight. And so this weight is going to be the weight that you don't have to pull up. And we'll explain that in just a second. So I have this guy tied here. And you want to have at least probably five, five feet or so of uh, rope in between the weight and your harness. So I have that all set up now, uh, tied it to myself, going through both of the hard points in the harness, and now I'm going to get it set up on the hangboard. So with this, what you're going to do is you're going to have two carabiners, just pop them on, pop them on. Like what I said is I have them uh, separated pretty far. You can have them closer together, but the disadvantage with that is that your weight will be closer to your body and it can be rubbing up and down, and that's not really comfortable. Your gates are gonna be upside down, just like this, and you'll grab your rope, and it's just like your lead climber. You just pop it in, have your hand on um, the weight here, so you're half slack in the rope. Just pop it in. You do the same thing on the other side. And there you go, you're all set up, and it's a little pulley system here. And with that, I'm gonna have, what is this, 25 pounds? About 26.4 pounds, so pretty much 25 pounds. I'll have 25 pounds reduced off of my weight because when I pull up, that 25 pounds is going to go down, and I'll be able to pull up easier. So if I, you know, I can normally do these jugs just fine, but maybe I'll be able to do a few more of them than I normally can. Alternatively, if you have something that you're struggling with, maybe the three pockets on the side here, I can't normally do those, but with this weight system. I can get one, yay! Just like that. And the weight will not actually be exactly 25 pounds off because you will have a friction uh, force acting against you on the uh, carabiners there. But you can also reduce that using a gree gree. Uh, if you set that up and then have your rope running through there, that's another way to, uh, to not have as much friction and maybe get a little more weight. And you can add weight onto this. You know, you can tie two or three um, two or three weights here. Um, the only issue is you don't want to exceed more than 300 net pounds. So if I'm 150 pounds, I don't want to have more than 150 pounds over on this side. If I have too much weight, I may mess with these guys, which would not be good. And so that is that. That's the weight reduction system. Get to work on some ones that you normally can't do. And you don't have to bear the same amount of weight. That's how that works.